Rosh Hashanah is the new year, but it's also considered the birthday of the world. It, we celebrate the creation of the world. Now you might ask, well, there were six days of creation in Shabbat, so which day are we actually celebrating? We're celebrating the sixth day when human beings were created, when we, human beings, entered the stage of the world, entered into the universe. But the first Midrash I want to teach you happened actually before the whole creation event. Because according to the Midrash, before God created the world, he created some other things that he knew the world would need. And two of those things were the Torah to teach us how to live a holy and meaningful life, and Teshuvah, which is repentance and it's connected to forgiveness because even before human beings were created, God knew that we would not be perfect, that we would make mistakes, and he wanted to create an avenue for us to repair those mistakes, to feel bad, to repent, and then to repair. So right away, what does this Midrash teach us? That we should not berate ourselves for not being perfect. We were never meant to be perfect, and it's impossible, and to do our best is all that God asks of us. Another Midrash that teaches us about ourselves is that God only created one being. God could have created an entire nation at the same time. He created one being, and in the first story, we know that the being was male and female. It was called an androgene. It was one being connected. And the rabbis say, why only one being? To let us know that we all come from the same source, that no one could say, my father is better than your father. My lineage is better than your lineage. Scientifically, we know now that actually we all came from a woman. She's called the matrilineal Eve and that 200,000 years ago, there was one woman who lived in Africa and her DNA is in every human being on the planet today. So we did all come from one source, an African woman and no one is better than anyone else. So in these days where there's a lot of uh, racial uh, tension, it's fascinating to understand that the rabbis were explaining that we all come from the same source and every human being is sacred. On that same note, the reason the, uh, the rabbis explained that God created one being is to say that one being is the whole world. And if you destroy one person, you're destroying the whole world. And if you save one person, you're saving the whole world. So that life is precious is what we're learning from these creation midrashim. Finally, there's another one that I find fascinating that says, the world was created by means of 10 capacities and powers, by wisdom, by understanding, by reason, by strength, by rebuke, by might, by righteousness, by judgment, by loving kindness, and by compassion. So as we know, it's written in the Torah that we were created in the image of God, but that's not a physical image. And I'm thinking that we were created with these same capacities that God had and imbued with into us. These capacities to live a very meaningful, profound life which means to act wisely, to be understanding and reasonable, to be strong when we have to be, to call out injustice and stop cruelty and evil when we see it, to act righteously and use fair and honest judgment, and to live lives filled with goodness, kindness, and compassion. So this we all learn from this Midrash of how we are supposed to live our lives. According to the Kabbalah, Every human action affects the divine realm, the world of God, the heavens. But we know that every human action also affects this world and how we behave um, with our sacred powers can really change the world. As Jews, we are obligated to bring these powers into our society. And in Rosh Hashanah, we remind ourselves of these obligations and we celebrate them. So we have to ask ourselves, how have we fulfilled these obligations in the past year and what can we do to make sure we do so in the future? Tequila!